Tonight, friends and admirers said goodbye to the man known as the fight doctor at a memorial in Miami. Ybor City native Ferdy Pacheco was Muhammad Ali's ringside doctor for years. He died last month, but his memory lives on. Nightside Sarah Rosario shows you his impact on our community. You can't walk anywhere here in Ybor City and not see something that's been influenced in some way by Ferdy Pacheco, whether you realize it or not. He is an Ybor City legend, an artist, a writer, a doctor who many hope will one day have a statue like this one here of his own. He should have a statue of himself, a, a bronze. Any prominent business owner in Ybor City will tell you Ferdy Pacheco helped make Ybor City what it is today. He has definitely uh, made an impression on this community. Uh, he is the bee's knees. He's the guy, uh, Renaissance man. He won two Emmys as a boxing analyst. And while he's best known as the ringside doctor for boxing legend Muhammad Ali, he produced a full gallery of distinctive paintings on display across the Tampa Bay area, including the city's history center. He wasn't an artist professionally trained, uh, and he wasn't that as for a living. But uh, clearly he had a lot of talent. Some of those paintings sell for thousands of dollars. We found more than a handful on the walls at La Gazeta, Tampa's first Spanish newspaper and the only trilingual newspaper in the nation. Publisher Patrick Mantego was a longtime friend. Uh, Freddie loved my father, he loved my grandfather, and uh, he was a good friend of the paper. He, he wrote for us for probably 10 years, shared stories with us. These are his original manuscripts? Yeah. Um, so he would write them out. And if you've taken a walk along the sidewalks here in Ybor City's infamous 7th Avenue, you've probably seen this. This is a tobacco leaf and they're everywhere, but take a closer look at the marble. Inside the marble, those are quotes from Pacheco. Each and every single one of them have quotes from him from his Ybor City Chronicles. Pacheco also wrote six books. Ferdy really wanted to tell the, the story of Tampa tell the story of the immigrant community he grew up in and to tell it to the nation because he felt it was a very special story. A special story from a special man leaving his mark in more ways than one. Do you think that he should get one of the statues here anymore? You know, I think that uh, it's probably uh, long overdue. Sarah Rosario, 10 News. Pacheco's memorial will be held here in Ebor from 5.30 to 8. It is open to the public. We've put everything you need to know on our website, WTSP.com.